Serious patient injuries and even death. A major investigation into nursing homes leads to a settlement between seven Massachusetts facilities and the state. The attorney general says all seven of these nursing homes failed to keep their residents safe. And now because of that, they will have to pay up and make some big changes. WBZ's Gary Broad has the story. Our mother, Betty Ford Crane, affectionately called Betsy, would not want anyone to die in the manner that she did. Betsy Crane's family continues to mourn her loss. Had Crane gotten the care she needed, her daughter Candy may still be enjoying precious moments with her mother. She was my best friend. Our family had to watch her bleed out for 10 days. Betsy Crane lived here at Beaumont Nursing Center. She died in 2015. This is one of seven nursing homes around the state to settle claims of negligent care. Crane was one of four people to die due to that negligence. The other nursing homes include Woodbriar Healthcare of Wilmington, Braymore Health Center of Brockton, and the Wakefield Center. In one facility, a person died after being caught in outdated and faulty bed rails. In another facility, they failed to give a patient medication that would have prevented a fatal blood clot and the person died. Two of the four deaths were at facilities owned by Synergy Health Centers. Part of the settlement agreement states that Synergy cannot operate a health care program in the state for the next seven years. And those who don't want to play by the rules, clear rules and regulations here in Massachusetts, are not welcome to do business in Massachusetts. Now, these findings come after years of investigations. The six companies involved will pay a total of about $500,000 in penalties. Some of that money will go to improving care in senior living facilities. I'm the next generation up, and this whole situation is just so frightening to me that I want, I want it resolved. In Westboro, Gary Broad, WBZ News.